Hello everyone, this is Candy, the 614 Stitcher, and today is Tuesday, November the 1st, 2022, and this is my Floss Tube episode number 59. I would like to say hello and welcome to all of my new subscribers. I have had um, a bump in my subscribers, and I want to thank you and welcome you to my channel. Um, I hope you st stick around and allow me to enable you with a project or two that I am working on. And to all of my returning friends, subscribers, I thank you so very much for coming back each and every time that I do upload a video. I have um, had a good week. Um, Work is going fine. I'm still working both the positions, but I do see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, it, it is going to be great, um, and I look forward to it. I um, also have been still getting up leaves. I'm sorry about the pictures. Uh, I tried to insert a movie clip it um, which is how I have to do it um, and it would not work and I was too frustrated to fool with it and so there were no leaves of no pictures of leaves or Albert last time um and the leaf thing is going to be continuous because now I'm just to the point where I'll do um I did seven bags of leaves and a trash can earlier today so, it'll just be a constant. All of the leaves are down off the tree, both the trees, the front and the back. But I am moving slow with getting them taken care of. And, you know, it's my yard. I'll do it as I see fit. So, um, I um, would like to encourage all of you, if you have yet to have your annual mammogram. I am going to have the girls checked on tomorrow. I would encourage you to also um, schedule and keep your appointments to go. Um, it's a simple test. It may cause you a few moments of discomfort, but it can save your life. Um, I've had several friends that have um, had breast cancer and um, it is by the grace of God that they are all alive um, and are doing well. No remission. One had a remission and she that was uh, right before her five year checkup. So um, and that's been years ago. She's fine now. So Please, 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 even though um, October is the official Breast Cancer Awareness Month, any month and any day is a good day to go and have your annual checkup done. So I have been doing some stitching and we are going to get into the stitching. I first would like to show you my finish. If you follow me on Instagram, I posted a picture of it on Saturday and said that I would be getting it done before my next floss tube, and I did. Um, this is Thankful and Blessed by Shannon Christine Designs. It is a freebie on her Facebook page. Um, I did make one small change. There are two hearts um, here, one here and one here. And I admitted those. Um, I just didn't see the need for them. So I omitted them and I finished this on Saturday afternoon. I did stitch this on a 16 count country French rain Ada and it in the threads are called for DMC. So I started it last year for Thanksgiving. Um, I believe it was one of the ones I started three projects on Thanksgiving day and it, this was one of them. And so now I have it finished um, and maybe I could get it. Wouldn't that be a novel idea? Get it finished, fully finished before Thanksgiving day. <laughs> 
I'm not making no promises on that though. So that was my finish for this week. And I do also have a new start. So I started Fall is in the Air, um, which is the Fat Quarter Shop Stitch Quarterly. And I um, have a small start on it. And here it is. I am stitching this on a 28 count color and cotton spell book. It was the fabric of the month for October. Sorry, I got a fuzzy on it. Um, and I'm using also the call for DMCs provided by the Fat Quarter Shop. And so that is my small start. It is the very top of this tree. So I um, decided to start it. I saw one of my friends, uh, Jody, Jody's Creative Corner. She has already finished hers, and I was like, I haven't even started mine yet, and you're already done. And so then I was like, okay, I'm jumping on. I'm starting it. So that was my new start for this week. I am now going to go into whips. And I'm going to give a disclaimer. If there are photographs, before photographs, I will put them in. I am, I don't know, my brain just was not on the whole taking of the pictures, I guess, this time. You're not going outside, so go lay down. The first whip I am going to show you is my 25-7. And that is December Square Dance by Heart and Hand. And if I remember to take a picture, here's a picture of where it was last week when I showed it to you. And here is where I am now. So I have um, I have this motif to finish and I had another I had another uh, motif here and it was in the wrong spot so I had to frog it this morning my 25 minutes was uh, frogging <laughs> which you know okay actually part of it was putting in this motif and then the other part was taking out the other motif because that's how I found that it was in the wrong spot. Um, it was too close here. Um, so I had to remove it. This is being stitched on. Um, a 32 count Dusty Road by Sarah. Dusty Road. Road. By Seraphim. And I am using all Etoile threads. And I really hope, like, I can see it in the camera. So I'm hoping, maybe if I hold it back a little bit and move it up and down. Like, I love this so much. This is a shop model for keepsakes. When I do my own, I'm going to do it the exact same way. I simply love it. So, I have um, been writing the thread colors down as I go. So, once I get it completely finished, if you would like the uh, conversion, please just send me an email. And, and my email is always in the description box below. So, that was my 25-7. progress and I'm going to make sure that I take another picture of it for next week because like really okay so now the next oh that okay sorry I'm having a conversation all on my own 
my next whip I've moved on to whips my next whip is in my Lynn X Stitches Creates Summer Bag. This was one of the first, um, when she very first started doing um, surprise quarterly bags. And this is what it will look like someday. And here is a picture of where it was when I showed it last week. And here it is now. So I uh, finished the basket and I started putting in more of the vine over here. I am actually, uh, I will be putting this chart away or this pattern away now. This was my whip go call for this month and it was a summer start. So I put in, I'm looking at my working copy so I can know exactly what I, so I put in this little flower bud here. I finished off the basket and this whole vine leaf and flower is what I put in um, this past week. And I love it. Um, I love the Valdani's. I love, I um, use a um, size 24 needle um, with, and this is the only, the um, Quakers are the only one that I use a size 24 needle for because the, the Valdani's are three stranded. Um, and it has really made a difference. I was, when I first started it, uh, the spring, I was really struggling um, and found a bigger eye needle and have been using that ever since. So I am really enjoying that. However, it is going away for a little while and uh, I will be telling you what will be coming next for my whip go. So that was Summer Quaker. Um, and my next project is, I am um, participating in the Garon Designer Focus each month. And this past month was, uh, Cricut Collection, which was EJ's choice. And if you recall, I am stitching on the Great Pumpkin Conspiracy, and I am working on this skyline up here. I'm still working on the skyline. But here's a picture of where it was when I last showed it. And here it is now. I brought over, I had some uh, parked threads. So I have finished the one set of parked threads on both these two lines and I still need to, I'm not gonna put it away. Maybe tonight I'll get to finish this other parked thread. I don't wanna leave it like that. But I'm still working on the skyline, so. But I am happy with my progress. Let me show you. So that is where it is. And I put well, it doesn't go all the way over there. I probably have maybe uh five more of the peaks to do to be finished with the skyline. So I might hold it out. And you'll um I so as it turns out, let me just go ahead and say it because I keep alluding to, well, I might do this and I might do that. The magazine monthly acrostic for this month is four letters. Um, so that is going to leave uh, me a lot of time for stitching other some other things. And that's why I'm saying I probably could go ahead on and get the skyline finished, even though it was for October. 
because I'm going to have lots of stitching time for uh, November because there's four letters. Four letters and the theme. And so, you know, I'm going to uh, work on a few other things since, since it's four letters and a theme. That's what I mean by that. Okay, so the next whip is, and I am loving this whip very, very much so. It is Let Us Be Thankful Row by Bent Creek. And here is a picture of where it was when I last worked, last showed it. And here is where it is now. So I completely finished the little turkey. I was so happy. Like, oh my goodness, I was so happy when I finished the turkey. I've put in this um, other leaf, the L and the U. And so now there's another leaf and a vine that goes up and wraps around. I will be working on this again this month. Because it's Thanksgiving, and I'm thankful. So that is where I am on Let Us Be Thankful Row by Bent Creek. Um, the turkey, so I am using the called for, with the exception of the, the one DMC, which are the words. So the turkey is all, and I'm so like you could see, but the words I didn't have the um, overdive for. So I'm using the DMC for that one. For the vines and the leaves, however, I will be using cottage garden thread. I know I shouldn't put that in front of my face like that this cottage garden thread and it is called oregano. I am stitching this on a 28 count color and cotton fox run. And I'm using the called for with the exception of the green, I am using cottage garden threads. And I am so enjoying it. I'm going to be putting him on the calendar a couple of days for this month. I just let us be thankful. And my, I think this is my last whip for this month. For October, not this month. This month just started. Oh, yep. Because I'll be working on this one again also this month. And it is Thankful by Emily Call. And here's a picture of where it was when I last worked on it, or last showed it. And, and this is where I am now. So far, I put in, so I worked on the pumpkin. I put in the, and maybe I showed this last week already. Hmm, I don't remember now, but so I'm still working on that pumpkin. And I am using a color conversion of Classic Color Works. The called for is DMC, and I am stitching this on a 28 count Cypress by color and cotton and if i did show this last week and it doesn't have any more progress i apologize i'm like i said usually i i write i'm better at writing down what i worked on i don't know what happened this past week i was all over the place Maybe it would help if I looked at my calendar. It's, it's sitting right here. It's always sitting right here. Yep, thankful rose on here. 
Thankful and blessed I finished. Oh. And I was supposed to work on black work pumpkins and I did not. So I don't think I worked on it anymore since I've shown it to you all. So that is that. Okay. So now for the plans. Like I uh, alluded to, I'm sorry, I'm trying to move some of this out of the way. Um, there are four, this is my planning basket. Um, I normally don't have a planning basket, but it was convenient to just put it right there. So, for the ma ma Magazine Monthly Challenge Group for the month of November, the theme is generosity. And I... I bet you I didn't even pull it out. Oh, yes, I did. I will be stitching on, it is in a magazine. Um, it is in Just Cross Stitch Magazine. Um, the Ornament Edition from 2021. Hold on and I'll get it. Okay, so I did find it. And here's a picture of it. It is in the Just Cross Stitch Magazine, uh, 2021, page 11. And it is by My Big Toe Designs. And so that is my um, piece for generosity. I'm like, where's my card? Be lost without your cards. Um, my next, so that is the theme for generosity. The next acrostic is gift, G I F T, and for the G in gift, I will be having a new start. I'm sorry, I should have uh, organized my basket a little better. And my new start will be coming out of the 2022 uh, December edition of Just Cross Stitch Magazine. And it is... Oh, have you guys checked? So Carolyn Zook just did a flip through of this magazine today. So go over and check her out. And I will be doing Give Thanks. So that'll be my new start for this month. That's the G. For the I, it is a new start also. I know this month I'm like new started out. And it is, November Flip It by Lizzie Kate. And I'm, um, a couple of these, um, I've really made some different goals for this month and I'll um, explain that as we go forward. So that was I, and for the F, it is Faith and Endurance, which is by Lori Holt. And that is in my Saturday shenanigans bag. You know, this was supposed to be my travel piece when I go to Keepsakes. I haven't stitched on it one time since I, since I said that at Keepsakes. I've stitched on it, just not at Keepsakes. I am so thirsty. So, Faith and Endurance for the F. And for the for the T, I have down here, Be Thankful from Country Cottage Needleworks. 
And I don't think I pulled that. I didn't. So I'll have to show you that one. Now, the WIPCO numbers were called and um, my, uh, the number was, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. The numbers were 12 and 24. And my number 12 was is a new start spring. And for that, I will be starting a sampling of spring by the Little Stitch Girl. I've had this since it came out at market. And it's probably been, I think it came out in 2020. 2021, maybe. Sorry for the crinkling. Um, it doesn't say in here. So this is going to be um, something a little different for me. There are specialty stitches in this chart, which is also one of the reasons why I cho chose the chart. Um, so that I can be working on the specialty stitches for my shadow lane also. So, and they have good diagrams. I've already gone through the entire um, pattern to look at the specialty stitches. Um, she provides good diagrams also. So, if you are looking to dip your toe, maybe just a little bit, into specialty stitches, this would be um, a, a good chart for you to uh, maybe try out. Um because again, they, she does provide very good instructions. And the specialty stitches are at the top and at the bottom. So it's not like the whole chart is specialty stitches. So I'm going to try it and see where I get to because right off the, right off the start, um, after you get past the first line, you dump, you get, you you get some specialty stitches. So I thought it would be really good. And my number twenty four is going to be a restart. If you recall, earlier this year I um, abandoned a fabric, <laughs> not a project, but a fabric. And so I will be restarting. It is actually number twenty four on my board. I will be restarting a winter snowfall by Shannon Christine Designs. This was a gifted chart for me f um, in 2020 for Christmas. And so I want it done. I will be using um, in this chart, she actually provides you with a, um, three different colorways. And of course, my colorway is going to be purple and silver and white. So that is my whip go for November. And even though I know what December's is, I don't know what it is because I didn't even focus on December. I was like, let's just get through November first. So um, with the magazine monthly acrostic being so um, small or you know only four letters it'll give me a great opportunity to get some stitches in on some other pieces so now the Garon designer focus um this month is twin peak primitives and i actually had a freebie from twin peak primitives from their website and I looked again and there are several more um, or you can head over to Garon Stitchery. All of the charts are on sale for the month of November and I will be working on um, the snowman, the snow angel. And I am um, going to be stitching this on a 14 count Ada but I think it's the perfect color. It is called Nordic Blue. And it is definitely not that vibrant. But 
the lights do something between the lights and the camera, man, that is really bright, but it's not that bright. So that's what I will be getting started on. I have a lot of starts uh, this month. So, and you know, one of the things about me having new starts means that I have to do all the kidding up. And if you've been around for a while, you know, kidding up is not um, something that I really like doing. So I'm going to uh, find me a very long floss tube video from somebody and uh, that's what I'll be listening to while I do the kidding up because, whew. so I think that is it. Next uh, is my investment. So let me get this all situated. I do have a few others that I have pulled out for the month of November um, in case I get a chance to work on those. I'm not going to uh, really put it out there until I do work on them. Okay. I'm going to push that to the side. I'll be right back. Okay. So... I had to pick up a couple of more of, uh, a few more, not a couple of more of, sorry. I had to pick up a few more etoile. So I picked up this orange and this purple along with um, two blues that I needed and they're in the bag and I didn't even think about it. But that's pretty. And then I did receive one of my Rogue fabric. I um, They are behind, and it is my fault that they are behind. I um, missed the call when they called me about my credit card. Um, and so then I missed it again. So this is Cloud's. And he didn't put on here what month this is. So it it might be August. It might or it might be September. Uh yeah, it would be September. That is clouds. And isn't that pretty? Maybe I could do Carolyn's uh balloons on this. I would need another piece. I could do the summer ones on there, maybe. So that is my Rogue um, Atomic Ranch fabric of the month. I also received my Be Stitch Me fabric of the month, and this is called Whimsical. I do get a 32 count of it, and that's pretty spot on. I mean, it's not maybe not that bright, but it looks pretty good. It, it, her fabrics are just so beautiful. Like, I have gotten to the point where I can, um, you know how you used to, when you were little, you lay in the grass and watch the clouds go by and see if you could pick out little things. I do that with her fabric now. Like, oh, that looks like a flower. Oh, that looks like... So, and then from, um, I am in the Cottage Garden Thread Club at the Garon Stitchery. And so I did receive, it was so fast. Like I paid for it on Saturday. I had, I got them yesterday. I don't know how they did that, but literally I, I paid for them on Saturday morning at 6 a.m. There's a story with that, but it's okay. And then they literally showed up yesterday. So I don't know how them guys what they didn't did to the post office, but Christmas is coming. Can you help me out with my packages, please? Thanks. So these are the threads for this month. And this is Moonstone. This is Chinese Lantern. And it's a little deeper than that. Not as is bright. Aster. Same. These are all a little darker than what they are showing. Aster, and this is Citrus, and this is 
Ginger Lily. And they are all, again, much darker than what they are showing on the screen. But they are beautiful. I really do enjoy this thread club. And that's why, um, you know, when I have something that I think that they will work, you know, fit into, I'll be using them because they are too pretty to just be sitting. Like, this would make a great... I know you can't, it's not showing up as like it should, but like this would be a great variegated pumpkin. It, it is beautiful, so. And then, um, so in the video on the Sunshine Stitchers channel, me and EJ were talking and I said that I wanted to, actually what I said was, is I was going to chart it. I don't know why I said that because I, I mean, I'm, I have plenty of magazines and books with letters in them, so I could do it. It's not that I can't, but like, whew. and I mentioned that I wanted a chart that said winter is coming. So for those of you, like, I don't discuss really what I watch on TV. My friends know, but like, I became obsessed with Game of Thrones. I watched the first, the Game of Thrones. I watched it from the beginning to the end. Like I, what do they call that? Whatever it was, I did it. I mean, anytime I was watching anything, that was what I was watching. So when, and it all started because of House of the Dragon, the Targaryens. I saw where they were going to be starting that. So I called my son, who was all into Game of Thrones when he, you know, he was living here at that time. So he was like, no, you don't really need to watch it, but it might be good for you to watch it. So I just watched it and like all in. I'm all in. So my friend Candy, thank you, Candy, literally tagged us in a chart on Etsy and it is called the cross stitching levers is the name of the Etsy shop and I will link it below and she linked winter is coming with the stark crest and I am here for it I have found all the house <laughs> now I'm not going to stitch all the house crest there's a couple that I am going to stitch. Targaryens is one. Because I love dragons. Like, I love I love it. Like, I love it. Um, the Stark, I'm going to um, also stitch. I, I'm going to start this as, as soon as... It may not be started tonight, but it's going to be started real soon. Like, I have the fabric, everything. The only thing I'm a little concerned about is the thread. <clears throat> Pardon me, because it is a lot of black. But I'm all in, all in, all in. Um, and I did um, heart a few of the Targaryen crests in Etsy. So it's as soon as I get done with the Starks, I'll move over to the Targaryens. But I'm all in. Okay. So there's that. And then my friend, um, Carolyn Zook, bless her heart. She um, managed to talk me into a year-long sal, and it is by Crazy Annie Stitching. I think, yeah. See, there's two Annies. There's Crazy Annies, and then there's Dirty Annies, and I seem to get them mixed up. Crazy. So, this is Crazy Annie Stitching, and it is the 2022-23 Woodland Christmas. Carolyn, do you mind telling me when we were supposed to start this? Because I got it yesterday in the mail. And this first chart, I only purchased the chart. And it came with the project bag. So I purchased the chart in a project bag. They had all kinds of... Um, accoutrement 
I always be trying to say it the right way. Accoutrement, um, fabric, thread drops, needle minders, all of it. Um, but I just, first out of the box, I just got the chart. Hopefully, maybe um, when I see what the needle minder looks like, I'll get that also. But, but this is the first chart that came, and it is... It just says part one is the stocking. And I have seen several um, floss tube friends um, doing ornaments, stitching that they in a club. And so I thought this would be really cute. I am going to be doing mine individually. Um, and I had a piece a large enough piece of a 28 count dove gray that I will be stitching all of these on. There are Weeks Dye Works and DMC threads called for. Okay, I, the elephant in the room is my purple pinky. So, you know, I got, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I got 24 packages of Color Street Nails. And so I was trying to learn how to put them on, but I'm not good at it yet. But I'm going to keep practicing because they are beautiful. So this will be started as, as soon as Carolyn tells me. And I am excited to start it. They they are uh, 61 by 61. So they're not very big, you know. Even for a slow stitcher like me, I'm hoping that, you know, I can get them done monthly and not have to uh, carry them over. And that I have all the week sty works because that'll be the thing. But, you know, so that is where I am for this week. I am, am so pleased. I have been going over and um, reading the comments on the Sunshine Stitchers page uh, for the video. And it just makes my heart so happy that um, everyone has received uh, that video uh, so good like it was it was fun for us to do it um we banter back and forth like that all the time um and so it was good that people you know were fine or loved the fact that we carried on the way that we did it was so much fun so much fun to do um and so I can't wait for us to do mine I um, have been getting my thoughts down on paper um, so that I can be prepared for any questions that Miss EJ asked me about my plans. So I think I have said everything that I need to say, and I would like to wish you all a very stitchy week. Um, I hope the weather is cooperating. I know here in Ohio, it it is crazy. Like today it was in the sixties, but it could be in the forties tomorrow for all I know. Um, but get out and enjoy some fall air. You know, pretty soon we'll be all bundled up and in the house trying to stay warm. So if you have the ability, please get out and enjoy some of this fall uh, air before it gets too cold. I will see you again next week. I am traveling to uh, Yellow Springs, Ohio for the Stitching in the Springs retreat this weekend. So if you will be there, please, please, please stop by and say hello. Um, and I will talk to you all next week. Good night.